when you vlog and your life is 24-7, uh, there is no real beginning or end to the day, so we've just chosen, you know, uh, just the end of the vlog at around 4, 4, between, in between 4.30 and 5, and start again uh, when we're beginning our next cycle, and that's uh, typically just a couple hours, so we ended at around 4.30, and uh, it's now uh, 6 o'clock in the morning on uh, July 28th. And we're starting again. Uh, I got some new cartoons for your, for the front desk here. It seems like the the methodology of using um, the cold brew iced tea to turn into a milk tea really seemed to make the difference in terms of how the intestines feel. There are still issues, but significantly better. I will try sleeping now, lying down. That also the, 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 how you how you stay like like I had to sit up the whole time does make a difference. It does have an impact on on how your digestive system actually works and how effective it is, and so on and so forth. It's just a matter of trying to sort of figure out you know the methodology that would be your prescription. Uh, is is to figure out uh, what the methodologist gets from the point of where you're having a particular problem to something that seems to be a solution and walking it through until its final conclusion. So I'll know tomorrow, well, actually tomorrow, and then there we go, the issue of, uh, of uh, operating 24-7. It's not going to be tomorrow. It's going to be when I'm going to go try to rest now. And when I get up, uh, I'll see how it uh, how it feels, and I don't know how long I'll be resting for. It could be two, maybe three hours, uh, maybe less than that. And then I'll have I've already shut the front door, not locked. Uh, not, I've already shut the front door, so the air is not uh, flowing in. We got our temperature down to just about uh, the 78 degree mark. It's uh, 68, 66 degrees outside, so it gives us a nice break. Uh, I have part of the research that I'm doing for atmospheric physics looks at the um, thermodynamic flow of uh, heat throughout the uh, throughout the Earth, throughout the globe, and that's what I'm tracking. And it has to be watched almost 24/7, so I don't go home. I stay, I stay here. I'm on my on the job 24/7. Uh, uh, this is what produces the sort of the in-betweens. In order to get a cycle, to get one cycle of the atmosphere in terms of how the thermodynamic flows in and out, that's one year. So it's a long process. It's not something that, that, that's very quick or very easy to do. And once you know where you are, and you, so you identify your position on the map, You can see how the atmosphere, in terms of thermodynamic, actually begins to work, and there's a lot of explanation as to what goes on and why. And this includes looking at things like the SOHO Observatory, looking for uh, coronal mass ejections, and understanding how and if coronal mass ejections actually match up with the thermal dynamics of the atmosphere. And I found, to a certain degree, that that, that this is the case. Now I have to find what degree, what fa what type of factors that it is. But I also have other mechanisms that I need to look at. So anyways, on to my next phase. Laundry is done. The, uh, everything is sort of picked up for uh, the next load of laundry to go in. Uh, maybe uh, well, it's tomorrow's Tuesday, so maybe Wednesday. We'll do another load of laundry because kind of backed up behind the uh, behind the so sort of the uh, the curve for behind what we need to do. So this is the beginning of uh, the vlog for Tuesday, July 28th. I got a variety of different uh, lighting styles and this seems to be working better. The light that was behind me seems to be too, uh, well, it, 
if the light is right in front of the camera, it actually darkens the image. And the camera try because it has a camera tries to adjust to tries to adjust to the bright light, it actually darkens the image. This is why you never film a person or, 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 or anything like that but in front of bright lights is you you want things to be lit from the sides and that's what's happened now as I've changed the source of light. I turned off the light behind me and turned on another light further down the hall. And these are these are these are, are, are the cool LEDs. They're 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 a good um, replacement for uh, replacement for natural light, and I get them for rather cheap. So, <laughs> uh, we're still I'm still in in we're still in to a certain degree we're still in the sick day mode. So this is still a sick day vlog. Uh, I'm just coming out of uh, my food, for, food poisoning experience. I've been able to stabilize everything. It says now that what happens is that once your body starts going back to regular food, as I've already had my first meal as a, for in terms of regular food, uh, the body does take it, it, it does take a, a fair amount of energy, and you remain tired afterwards. All you have to do is look at uh, if you watch any of these nature films after the uh, uh, after the predators eat, they go to sleep and uh, in their sleep that's when their their food is digested. And this is uh, happens when it gets too hot. It also happens when you get too cold. That's how the, uh, animals deal with. Uh, uh, extreme heat or extreme cold is they either go, they find a shady place and go to sleep or and I think this is this is true of tropical areas too is they have you go to any tropical country and you look into their history and you'll find that they have siestas but they sleep around between four and uh, and seven o'clock in the evening they go to sleep and uh, they have a siesta that's because at that period of time between four and seven it's too hot to do anything and so they don't, and they go to bed, and they wake up, and they have the rest of their day when it's cooler, cooler out. Uh, still have digestive issues, but that that has to be expected uh, after the um, after for the first day of uh, of eating. One thing that kind of puts you into into, into a perspective is it, you go into things thinking you're not going to learn much of anything. That this, some of the, these would be down days; you wouldn't learn too much. But if you pay attention to the physiology of what's going on, you you, you sit down and feel, oh, this, there's a lot to learn here. But the body is actually quite amazing in terms of how it functions. And while you have a general functionality that you can apply to almost everybody, it really does, in terms of the actual physiology, it, it really determines. You have to, you have to do it case by case, person by person, and each situation is going to be slightly different from from the other. And so what happens is that, that well, well, I'm back on my first meal. I still have to make a couple adjustments. Uh, to my diet in order to compensate for various different things that are kind of lacking. And, and once that's done, then, you know, I have to maintain that. And that's the hard part, maintaining ma maintaining your proper diet. And the thing is, is that they, they do this in the hospitals too. They, they, they try to maintain a health person's healthy diet, but it, the problem is, is that the person gets healthy, doesn't necessarily notice their meals, and doctors really don't say much of anything about the diet. Uh, only in, in cases of of, of cardiac issues, of a cardiologist will say anything, but more often than not, there is no real sort of uh, dietary uh, study in terms of how the overall physiology interacts. What it is is simply a sheet of, of things you can eat and can't, things you can eat, and there's no really ex no real explanation as to why. 
one thing would be better than another. Uh, but when you sit down and you do the actual, you go through things and you sort of you're aware of yourself of what works and how it works, then that becomes the next set of understanding. And this is what a researcher does. So uh, although I was sick, although I was down, you certainly have the one to the, this is where you certainly ask the question, are you worth it? And when you're really feeling sick, you don't really feel that way. Uh, the, the action comes back, no refunds. So this ends the, the day's vlog. Uh, for, it's now, uh, let's see, uh, 4.44 4.44 in the morning, almost 5 o'clock. Check the date and time. Yeah, it's Wednesday, July 29th. So in about an hour or so after I have my next meal, we'll start the next vlog.